Hi guys, I just want to talk to you a little bit about the breaking down text assignment. Um, I started um, grading some of them and I just wanted to go over some common issues and, and kind of help you guys out. So in this first one where we have the Chicago Blackhawks, what I've did here is I highlighted in yellow uh, the most important details um, of this slide. Slides are kind of like paragraphs and the slide title is kind of like a topic sentence and now we're trying to find out what the supporting details are we want to find the most important things so i highlighted what i thought were the most important parts um, from the text on this slide and you'll notice that when i go to the corrected version of it i eliminated even words like the letter a or words like the these are words that are not necessary when we are writing um, slides so if we go to the corrected version here, you'll notice that um, I'm following the five by five rule, which means I'm using five words or less per bullet point. I'm using five or less bullets per slide. You'll notice that I'm also not using periods because we are not writing in complete sentences. And to kind of make things look nice and keep everything consistent, um, I capitalize the first letter of all the bullet points. Um, you want to make sure that you're being consistent with the style that you're using when you're creating your slides. So try to um, really work towards eliminating any unnecessary details. Remember that you as a presenter are going to fill in the details for the audience. This is merely a way of guiding the audience about what you're talking about. One more thing I wanted to mention is when we are following the five by five rule, uh, it's generally the rule that you want to follow, but certainly there are always times when you may have to break that rule. Sometimes it's impossible to uh, get the bullet point under five words, or maybe you're quoting somebody, or maybe you are using a proper noun like the United States of America, um, and so you're already using up uh, some words. So don't think that you can't break the rule, but generally it's something that we want to try and stick to as much as possible. Um, if you have any further questions, uh, please be sure to send me an email. Thanks, guys.